Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome back to the one and only Ostriv. It has been a long ass time since we have been in this game. I'm afraid we are still in Alpha 4. We are not in Alpha 5 yet. However, if you follow the guy's Twitter who's developing this game, I'll put a link in the description down to his Twitter so you can follow him. He's doing some awesome, awesome work, and uh, considering he's in a country that is, uh, well, kind of under bombardment quite literally at the moment um i give him massive props for even continuing development of this game so we're going to support him all the way and hopefully alpha 5 will come out at some point this year anyway i was playing frostpunk the other day and i thought to myself hmm i have an idea for ostriv which, if you've read the title of this video, or whatever the thumbnail is going to be, you already know, I'm going to do the No Outsiders Challenge. Now, this is not something that's just been on the internet, and it's probably, well, people have probably done other videos on it and called it something else, but I'm going to call it the No Outsiders Challenge. Now, the No Outsiders Challenge is no outside help whatsoever, okay? So, no migration, no exports, no imports everything that you do has to come from within your village if you want your population to go up then you have to wait until the kids grow up that's it that's how we're doing things now granted if this is more than one video which i have no idea whether it's going to be i genuinely don't know how long this is going to last for because i don't even know if it's going to work so i know fishing is going to be one of my biggest things fishing and farms are going to be one of my biggest things i've put myself on one of the maps that has a huge bloody massive lake on it we have enough farmland and stuff to do that kind of things we've got enough trees to get ourselves started we have some rocks down here to get us through when we need to do that that's gonna be more mid game so without further ado let's rock and roll first things first we need to get a forestry up and running that is absolutely critical actually should we do it here because i want to get rid of these trees so once I get rid of these trees, I can start building houses there. Right. So if we want to do that, we need to do what's critical. We need to do a clay pit. Uh, we need to do charcoal. We need to do a windmill for the flower, but we can do that later. We might as well do an orchard. We might as well. It's a, it's a very, very easy way of getting food. Next is we need to do a thatchery because we're going to need thatch. And eventually... We're going to need a boatyard and fishing dock. We are going to need both of them. So, what we want to concentrate mostly on is... Oh, we need a farm as well, don't we? Because we want to try and get a first year crop going. Now, I'm going to put the farm down here. Because I want to try and make these fields as big as I can but as close as I can, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So we'll have probably one field here, another mini one there, and then maybe a long one there if we can, outside of the factory. I think that's what we're trying to do. Right, so we'll get this building going. We have more than enough people to be building. Get going on that. Um, eventually, we might have to do a smithy to get nails. Oh. See, I didn't plan this. I. <laughs> okay. I've reached my first issue already. I didn't plan this very well. I just thought, oh, that's a good idea. Let's give it a try. Yeah. I I've hit my first hurdle. And it's quite a major one. To make nails, you need iron. Currently, I don't believe that's just stone i produces iron from iron ore i don't think you can mine iron ore i know you can in alpha 5 because i've seen pictures of the um iron ore mines that he's doing but i don't think you can mine iron ore in alpha 4 i think you can only get iron ore through trading oh dear okay we we might <laughs> oh that's brilliant we might have to hmm okay we might have to trade 
for iron ore. Because I don't think you can get it any other way. That could be an... <laughs> that could... Granted, I genuinely don't know if I'm going to survive long enough to actually use up all of the iron ore or, the, or the, all of the iron that I have there. We'll use all the nails, but I don't actually know whether I'll keep it going, keep the guys alive for long enough to even use the iron. Um, if we get to that point, then we might have to do imports just simply for iron ore which actually I, I wouldn't i wouldn't consider being like a a breach of the no outside help because you physically can't get it anywhere else so i wouldn't consider that a breach uh so what's this this is the farm going okay then we'll have fields and oh god we can't plow the fields oh <gasps> Oh, jeez. Not only can we... <laughs> I, really haven't, I really haven't thought this through. Oh, no. Not only can we not... Oh, God. Not only can we not plow the fields because we can't get oxen. We can make the plows, but we can't get oxen because you can only do oxes through imports. Not only that, but we can't get any animals at all. So... That's no, no steaks, no lamb, no chickens, no eggs, no sheep, no wool, no cows, no milk, no beef. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Oh. oh, actually, if we even get that far, we can't make salt because it requires a horse. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. We can't do like half the game because we can't get animals in without imports. We can't just like randomly go hunting and find them astray somewhere. Oh, that's hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. Right, we'll get this stuff constructed and then we really, really have to focus on houses. Because I think we can, I think we can survive the first winter without fish. I know fish is going to be our main thing, but I think we can survive the first winter without fish. And what we can do during winter is we can spend the time um, making boats, basically doing everything that we can't do during the during the summer months when the when the uh, snow isn't here. Now I can't remember whether the snow comes in October, November, or December. I can't remember which, but I have a feeling. I have a feeling that if it gets to winter and they don't have a house, they leave. Yeah, so we need to build houses for all of the families before winter comes. There's nine families. Okay. There shouldn't be too much of an issue, if I'm honest. How many... Um... Oh, no, we need to get rid of migration. Turn off migration. Right, do we actually have... Uh, let's... Make sure we've actually set everything up. No, I don't want that. I want... I haven't played this in so long. I know, I don't want that either. What do I want? I want that. There we go. <laughs> right. Migration not allowed. Perfect. Water supply sufficient. No market. No housing available. Jobs available. No entertainment required. No religious, religious buildings required. Lovely. Right. Do you want, want to put one person on that and go and do apples? Uh, you are working your asses off doing that, except you're not because you've filled up. Smithy's rock and rolling. Um, right, let's add a couple fields. Oops. Oh, we've blocked ourselves. Nice. Okay, we can do some half decent. We can do some half decent fields. We can do some half decent fields. Uh, how am I going to structure this one? Actually, I can probably get two in here, can't I? Or actually, do I need? Do I want to reserve that? Let's reserve that place. Let's just have two fields and let's reserve this area for houses. Um, how? What's this going to look like? Does that count? No, that doesn't. That does count. Okay. We can always delete it. 
and then we can start building houses. Jeez, they are... I remember them being smaller than that. Okay, that's gonna... I suppose we can get them to build small, ho small houses, can't we? In theory, we can get them to build small houses because they're going to... I'm literally just going to have to pop them down everywhere. I'm literally just going to have to pop them down everywhere. Um, ah. Right, we'll pop them down in really annoying places. But we will move them later. So that's five, six, sorry, seven, eight, nine. Sorry, they're really badly placed. They are really, really... Actually, do you know what? Let's not be stupid about this. Let's put a very slight... Oh, yeah, we can customise them, can't we? Okay, so let's put uh, enough of a gap to get a walkway down there. There we go. Nice. And hopefully, the forestry will prioritise that tree. I'm hoping. Uh, right, so we need potatoes. And then we'll swap that out to barley. No, we'll swap that out to wheat for next year and swap that out to potatoes for next year. And then let's activate them and take off the plows because we're never going to use that. And go do that stuff. There you go, perfect. Right, they're building smithy. Right, we're in April. Oh, so we've only done one month. Okay, so they're easy to sew. What else do we need? We will need a windmill, but we don't need it right now. And we can survive. Oh, yeah, we need... What's the building that fixes... That's expensive. And it's ginormous. Can I tuck it in there? <laughs> Not a chance. Not a chance. I'm going to need to put it somewhere. Actually, I suppose I can put it in places because these camp, these tents will be gone, won't they? I can put it there. How are you doing on this? You're half done already. Wonderful. Um, what do you need? There's nothing you need. It's just a case of actually building the bloody thing. Okay, is that is... Where's the thing? Yes. Okay, so they're all going. Okay, so you can come off with that. You can stay there. Actually, you can come off with that as well. Actually, no, I'm going to leave someone on there. Just I don't know whether it has an effect or not. If you do or don't have a manager there. I don't know. Uh, eventually, probably need to... We probably should build a school. So actually, do these actually have any effect yet? I'm genuinely not sure that these actually have an effect. I'm going to put one down anyway, but... Oh, so it has, re it has removed that tree. Huh. Okay. So how many do we have over there? We have three. Okay. So if we put... That's a lot of trees to remove. Jeez. What we'll do is we'll put... We'll put... We'll put trees there, and then if they remove them in time, then we'll cancel off these ones. If we move those ones ahead of those three, and that one ahead of those three, and that one's there, that one's there, that one's there. So if, if they remove those trees in time, then we can build there. If not, then they can just build there through the winter. And that won't be an issue. Okay, so so far we're averaging about one house a month-ish. Uh, it probably should have someone in there. The only downside of that is that it's going to be a guy. So we're going to lose a guy off construction. But, I mean, I'm going to open up that just in case there's more people that can be in there. Because even just having one more person on construction makes so much of a difference. Storage is full already. 
of what? Oh crap, we need to sell far we need to sell things, don't we? My bad. My bad. My bad. Sorry, 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 sorry. So we sell firewood, don't you? We sell apples when they're ready. And firewood. People need firewood. Even though they have loads. We can still sell firewood. Uh, do I have my local market? There we go. That's what I want up. And I can see if things are actually being sold. Right, house number three. And then we're going to start with the pain in the ass houses over here. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry that your house is all the way over there. That's going to be a pain in the ass to get to. But we will we'll fix it at some point. We will m put them in a better place at some point. We just need to get rid of these... We need to get rid of this camp, and we need to get rid of these trees. And then we can put them in a better point. God, I've missed playing this game so much. I love Ostriv. I absolutely adore this game. Mostly because of this. <laughs> I love, I absolutely love the animations for construction in this game. Having said that, they're kind of on a similar level to um, the City Skylines constructions. And I love playing City Skylines. And I can't believe there's a second one coming out. There's a second game coming out. I'm so looking forward to it. I am 100, 110%. And unless the game is like 70 quid or something stupid. I am 100% going to play City Skylines 2 on this channel. 100%. I cannot wait for that game to come out. Um, the only reason I don't play it on this channel, the, the first game on the channel, is because I don't have all the DLC, and people seem to complain when <laughs> I've seen other people playing City Skylines, and all the comments are like, oh, why don't you have this DLC? Oh, why don't you have that DLC? It's like, because if you put all the DLC together, it's like a couple hundred pounds. Sorry, but I don't love any game enough to spend a couple hundred quid just on DLC. Just, just no. <laughs> There's no game that I have that I've spent a couple hundred quid on DLC. <laughs> I think the most I've ever spent on DLC was maybe something for like Osterfront or something that was like ten pounds. Right, we're nearly done on that. And April... Yes, we're averaging about one house a month. We're averaging around about one house a month. That's not too bad. So, August, September, October, November oof we might lose one family especially because they're that far away okay so we've got we've got one cleared it'll also be easier for construction because they won't have to go as far oh we're harvesting oh god we're harvesting i didn't even notice go and help harvest and build and do everything else hold on Are the houses all different? Oh my god! Or is it just the construction is different and then they go to the same generic design? No, the... Do you know, I've never noticed that before. I mean, it makes sense. No workers to harvest it. Okay, sorry. My bad. Uh, and you need to be selling potatoes. Which are in alphabetical order. There we go. I don't think I've ever noticed the fact that they're all different designs. Huh. Okay, so that took a little bit over a month to make. I think it's because they're so far away. There's no way in hell we're going to cut down all the trees in time to make them. Not a chance. Uh, right, I'm going to have to be a pain in the arse and put some houses in really crappy places. He says it doesn't even fit. Ay yeah 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 We might have to put singular houses. Yeah, sorry, I'm gonna have to be a pain in the ass and give you a really crappy house. Just because I don't think we can afford to spend the time building those houses where they previously were. I don't think we've got time to. I think we need houses closer, sorry.
we can build them after if we have enough time but we need to get houses built Yeah, we're still doing all right on logs. Uh, how are we doing on nails? Because if we're doing fine, we're doing fine. Okay, come off of that and help that guy. And then we'll end up moving those anyway. Come on, we need to get built. I don't know if these are more complex houses than those, or if it's just the fact that we don't—they don't have a a field to them. I don't think they cost anything less. But we take take an average of about a month to build a house, unless this one goes up ridiculously rapidly. It is a lot closer to all the resources, so that is a plus. That is definitely a plus. Okay, do you want to come off of there? Just help on that. And we'll put a person back on there to build more nails because I think we're probably going to run out. Oh, we've only gone down by about 100. It's not that bad. Uh, we need more... Thatch. Deal the death thatch. Oh, it's going to be close. Right, next one. Go, 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 go. Power through, power through. We only need to build one more and we've got a month and a half to do it. I'm hoping that the winter doesn't come until December. Build, 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 build. <laughs> you know, at this rate, we might just do this. You know, I think we're going to have about a month left to do the final one. And then we can start making more complex houses after that. That's not... I don't mind that. That doesn't bother me. But we just... We need to do as much as we can to keep this population that we already have. Because, I mean... If I lose anyone... That's... That's going to be problematic. I mean, really, really problematic if I lose anyone... Oh, we need a windmill for the wheat, don't we? We can do that in winter. It's fine. Okay, so that's nearly done. Please say it's December that the winter comes and not, not November. Because if it's November, we're going to lose a family. Just one left, mum. Oh, yes, it's not November. It's December. Is it like to December till March then? There's one tent left to go. Oh, we'll oh, oh, we're gonna make this. We're gonna make this then. Oh hell yes! Right, let's pause all of them then. And now we will start. Nice one, with half a month to go. Good job, everyone. Right, let's start making the other random stuff that we need then. We've got a windmill. Um, we need a boatyard. And we need... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Where are you? Production. Other page. We need a fishing dock. We're going to have more than one of them if we can fit them in. Yes, we can. Wonderful. Because you can't build boats until you have an order from a fishing dock i remember that much <laughs> right let's build a school and we'll build how much time we have left tons build a school and build a windmill and then everything else we can kind of do during the winter pretty much um, i'm gonna keep all of these on pause just because i don't want them actually i'm gonna delete them for now and then we'll have four extra houses that we can create if and when we need them, when our population expands, uh, which is going to take a while. <laughs> it's going to take a while for our population to expand. 
But to be honest with you, I think that's kind of the fun of it. Is that you are, this is literally no outsiders. This is just a settlement that's going to have no outside influence. We are going to make everything we need as a community by ourselves. We are literally going to be like a post apocalyptic, closed off community just without all the monsters and cannibals and zombies and stuff <laughs> that comes with it. <laughs> or if you're going for the other post apocalyptic angle without all the earthquake and asteroids and random stuff it is december that it happens wonderful wonderful to know right uh we're running out of that because we have no wood right oh let's pack two people onto there and we can continue construction for a month your carts are wearing out oh dear oh dear oh dear they are indeed aren't they okay uh, blah, 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 blah. where is it's gonna be a huge building isn't it oh it's not that bad actually it's not that bad am i can i put it in a really stupid place and move it later I can. <laughs> oh god i can this is literally i'm turning this village into new york there's no space anywhere i'm literally turning it into new york can we put it in a slightly less idiotic place? I mean, mm, I'm not sure that that is any less idiotic, if I'm honest. God, it's like playing Tetris, just with buildings. I'm going to hate the fact that it's there, but I, yeah. We'll build it after the windmill. Because you can always carry stuff. And honestly, we don't really have enough people to man it. It's a good thing that it's quite a passive, that it's quite a passive building. You know, you only need it when there's actually stuff to repair. It's a good thing we don't need it permanently because we don't have enough people. <laughs> That's also something else we're going to have to have to um, realize is that we've only got a finite, not only a finite amount of resources, but we also have, only have a finite amount of people to do stuff. Because in this day and age, you can't put men and women on all jobs so we only have a finite amount of men to do the jobs that we need which is frustrating but it's how life is so we're also gonna have to be careful with our allocation of people like here our construction is going so fast that we don't have enough gents to build stuff i'm gonna put you two on there hopefully we can build a few more nails a bit quicker so we've got 900 iron so we're not doing too bad not doing too bad our school is coming along nicely and boom we are in to january so we'll wait for the end of our construction of our school which is three two one boom and we're up Please say that uses female teachers, not male. Please. Please have a female teacher. I can't spare the men. I can't. Maybe they don't have school in, win in winter. Maybe that's why it's not activating. Maybe they don't have school in winter. Or, oh, thank God. Do they not have school in winter? I, I'm, I'm not sure they have school in winter. <laughs> I don't think they have school in winter. Right. So... We're building the windmill we are building the carpenter because our carts are gonna be dead in about 30 seconds and then we got our fishing docks and our boat yard going so we can uh, build our boats before the thaw comes in like february or march time and we can get our fish up and running and then we got our fields which are bringing in wheat and potatoes right oh well i'll be honest that was a lot better start than I was genuinely expecting. I was kind of half in my mind. I was like, this isn't going to survive past the first year. But we're actually not done too badly at all. We have a few little issues here and there that are probably going to pick up and get worse in the second year. But as long as we play it smart and get over a few hurdles, we should be all right. Um, the no animals is something I didn't realize because i didn't really plan this ahead of time i just kind of thought oh that's a good idea let's try that <laughs> so the no animals and the no iron well limited iron and possibility that we might have to import them 
um yeah that's that's gonna be an interesting milestone when we come to it as always ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching thank you very much for your support and i'll see you in the next episode of the no outsiders challenge